Hey everyone, welcome back. In this video, we are going to discuss about how to manage Py2 resupply in Odoo 17 inventory module. Let's brief this with an example. Let's say we have just received an order from the customer for cabinet with door, but we don't have sufficient quantity of the item in the stock to deliver the item to the customer. So in this case, we use Py2 resupply. So the um, supplier has different warehouses here. So actually the delivery of the item should be done from the warehouse A. Let's say the supplier has three warehouses. So as there is no stock in warehouse A, the supplier would check that whether the stock is available in warehouse B. If it's not available in B, the supplier would again check that the uh, stock is available in warehouse C. So if not found in warehouse C, the supplier has to buy the product first and keep it in warehouse C and from there that will be pulled to warehouse B and then from there to A. And finally the delivery will be done from um, warehouse A to the customer. So this is how we use buy to resupply method and let's see how we use this functionality in Odoo 17 inventory module. To manage with the buy to resupply method in Odoo 17 inventory and let's move to the configuration settings to manage with the multi-step route. So as you just move on to the configuration settings, we can find a section called warehouses where we can manage the multi-step route that allow to use the routes in the warehouses. And as we try to create a new warehouses um, in Odoo, Odoo will automatically configure the storage location, which allows you to track the product location in the warehouses. Now let's move on to the configuration menu to manage with the warehouses. And here we can see we have different warehouses such as warehouse A, warehouse B and warehouse C. So we know we have just received an order from the customer for cabinet with door. So if the product is not available in warehouse A, we need to take the product from B. If it's not available in B, we need to get the product from C. And if it's not available in C, we need to get it from, um, like we need to purchase the item and to keep in uh, C and from C to B and from B to A and finally from A we will be delivering the item to the customer. So to manage with multiple warehouses we have to consider all these warehouses and let me consider my warehouse A and here you can provide the short name as A and we will be performing buy to resupply over here. So you can just enable that because we are buying the product and we need to resupply from one warehouse to another warehouse. That's why we are enabling buy to resupply. Now we know that if the product is not available in warehouse A, we need to get the product from B. So we have to set the uh, resupply from warehouse B over here. Now as you just move on to the routes, you can find uh, we have uh, uh, the routes for the warehouses and we can manage the routes. So if you want to apply uh, these routes on product categories, um, products, warehouses, sale, sale order lines and shipping methods, you can enable that. So currently I am only using in product categories, products as well as warehouses. Now you can see that the rules will be automatically configured by Odoo uh, over here. So whenever, the pro whenever we receive um, an order from the customer and you can see that we need to perform a pull operations and uh, uh, we have to just, yeah, if we have the items in this stock, we will be taking the item from the stock and will be delivering to the customer. But if not available, we have to trigger another rule. Okay. And uh, we will be checking whether the product is available in B. So here also we will be performing a pull operation. So if it's available in B, we, we know that the source location will be W, B stock and we will be performing a delivery operation to resupply from B to A. And if it's not available, we have to trigger another rule um, to get from the pro to get the product from um, C to B. Okay, so you can just move on to the other warehouses. So let me consider the warehouse B over here. And here you can see that we have to enable the buy to resupply. And we know if the product is not available in B, we need to get the product from C. Now. When you just move on to the routes, you can see a route will be automatically automatically configured over here. So here we know that whenever the products are needed in the WB stock, the receipts will be created in the warehouses. And if the products are not available, then a rule will be triggered uh, to bring the product into this uh, location. So we have set accordingly and you can just close this and let's move on to the other warehouse. 
and here we know that we will be performing a pull operations so here also we know whenever the uh, products are needed in the warehouse a delivery operations will be created from uh, wc because if the product is in is available in wc we will be uh, just transfer the transferring the product from c to b right so a delivery operations will be performing so if it's not available in c then we have to trigger another rule which means we will be triggering a rule to purchase the item okay so you can uh, set a rule accordingly in warehouse c now let's move on to the warehouses and let's consider the warehouse c over here so we know that we don't have sufficient quantities in warehouse c so we need to perform a buy to resupply over here and first we need to purchase the item and keep it in the stock so we have to um, give a route accordingly that is we need to purchase the items and keep it in the in the stock uh, and the destination location that is uh, the final location of keeping the stock will be wc stock so once we purchase the item the items will be uh, inputted in wc stock now you can save this now we need to uh, just consider the product uh, that is cabinet wood door and uh, here you can find that the products over here and uh, we need to designate a proper vendor for the product so here i have just set anita oliver with a price of 99 and with a delivery lead time of one um, uh, as the vendor of cabinet wood door now we need to perform certain routes um, under this product because we know that whenever we receive an order from the customer for the product cabinet wood door and we need to make delivery of the item from warehouse a so if it's not available in warehouse a we have to just supply from b if it's not available in b then we need to supply from c and if it's not uh, available in c we need to purchase the item so in order to automatically create a purchase order we need to enable the replenish on order which is mto so upon the demand of the customer a purchase order will be automatically created to buy the product and keep the product in the stock w c i mean in the warehouse now let's move on to the sales module and here we know we have just received an order from the customer for the product uh, for the product cabinet wood door with 10 quantity so here you can just choose the product with 10 quantity and we know we are going to deliver the item from warehouse a so you have to change the default warehouse and select the warehouse accordingly and you can save this changes and let's move on and let's confirm the order so as you just confirm the order here you can see that order will create the delivery orders where you can find five transfers will be automatically created over here which all are in waiting state because we don't have sufficient stock uh, in the warehouse now first we need to purchase the item and keep it in wc stock so first we are going to purchase the item from anita oliver and here you can see as we have just um given the delivery lead time as one the product will be delivered on uh fifth and um, here the price can be viewed everything is set and let's confirm the order and we need to keep the item in the stock so let's click on receive product and click on validate so that the item will be uh, stocked into um warehouse c and you can see that currently we have purchased from anita and placed the product in wc stock and as you just move on to the uh, delivery transfers here you can see that as the product is now available in wc stock we can just validate the, this process and now we can just move the item from uh, b like uh, from c we can just receive the item to b so to receive the item to b you can just click on validate and we have just kept the item in b now from b we can just move uh, to a now okay now we have just um considered b as a source location now we can just uh, get the product in a location and you can see we are going to validate so that the stock will be inputted in w a stocks and uh, later on we can move the product from a to b so currently the product is placed in w a stocks and we need to make the delivery of the item from uh, w a stock uh, to the customer so you can just click on validate and we have just done with the delivery of the item to the customer using buy to resupply method 
now uh, we can just create the delivery orders i mean uh, the invoice over here so here i'm going to create a regular invoice and let's confirm the invoice and let's request for the payment from the customer side so once the payment is done um, and after reconciliation the payment will be moving to the bank and this is how we manage with the buy to resell play so hope this concept is clear for you as always stay awesome and thank you for watching the video